Years ago when we first met Beerus, he and Goku were enemies at the start of Super, but over time, somewhat of a friendship was forged, whether Beerus would like to admit it or not. That movie, that single match, while the end of a beloved era of Dragon Ball Z, was the beginning of something magical and unironically, something godly. In one encounter, Goku was able to achieve something thought to only be a legend as he obtained the coveted power of Super Saiyan God, but unfortunately that was still nowhere near enough to handle the God of Destruction. Fast forward a few years and not only have both Goku and Vegeta perfected their Super Saiyan God forms, but they've also gone much further beyond that and ascended to a form known as Super Saiyan Blue, much stronger than their regular God forms and even going on to perfect these. By the end of the Tournament of Power, Vegeta had pushed his Super Saiyan Blue form far past its limits and created an even stronger form known as Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, kind of exclusive to himself, while Goku's trials with Ultra Instinct have never stopped being a hot topic. With all of these power-ups and enhancements that mostly stem from their training with the gods, Goku and Vegeta eventually one day do look to surpass Beerus in one final battle, but no one expected that to happen so soon. The battle with Hearts and the Core Area Warriors seems to finally be over in Super Dragon Ball Heroes, but even with Hearts, Mira, and Toa defeated, the real mastermind behind the entire plot few still pulls the strings from the shadows. Not even a moment of peace is allowed in these times as Trunks, who's just returned to the Time Nest, is already met with another predicament, but this one? This one will escalate far greater than anything he can handle. Off in another dimension? is where the epic rematch is about to take place. If you guys wanna check out Super Dragon Ball Heroes for yourself, they can literally be found all over YouTube, but the ones that I personally watch will always be linked down below in the description, so be sure to go check them out if you wanna catch up on Heroes. Things like this, and I really say this a lot, are really keeping the community strong right now, even though it is just a promotional anime. So if you guys are enjoying Super Dragon Ball Heroes, the Dragon Ball Super manga, and all the other anime content on the channel, consider leaving a like on this video as well. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to have that notification bell turned on to never miss an upload, and follow me on both Twitch and Twitter to stay up with me and all Dragon Ball related content. But without further ado, Never a day's rest in the Time Nest, as Trunks and Pan are immediately met by the Supreme Kai of Time with troubling news. The bird Toki Toki has suddenly disappeared, but that could only mean something bad is afoot as the Supreme Kai of Time shows a distraught face, so the two Time Patrollers set to go out and search for the bird immediately. The Supreme Kai of Time can only hope for the best of outcomes at this point without Toki Toki, but when she mentions something about the Bird of Catastrophe being released, the screen fades to an eerie silhouette. As we cut to Earth, Toki Toki would of course have landed right in the hands of Goku who nips at him as we see the rest of the Z Fighters sparring behind him, but when they take notice of the commotion, they come over as well. All of a sudden, a light beams through the sky as Trunks and Pan arrive at their destination they track Toki Toki, but they didn't think they'd end up here. Vegeta explains that this is not the same Trunks they know, but a Trunks from a different dimension. But before the discussion of what's going on here can go any further, another unexpected interruption occurs. A dozen unnatural energies begin to appear all over the sky as a once in a lifetime meeting begins here on Earth. All 12 Gods of Destruction have assembled in West City led by Beerus, and their business seems to be with Toki Toki. The Z Fighters stand aghast as the gods hover before them, but they take no notice of the humans and instead, after taking notice of the bird, Beerus descends and creates a Hakai in his hand from the energy of destruction. Before he fires it however, Toki Toki takes to the skies and delivers some sort of strange gust attack, but the properties turn out to be actually unbelievable. Toki Toki's attack literally evaporates the Hakai in Beerus' hand somehow as it leaves everyone, even the gods just shocked. With a brief moment to speak, Goku asks Beerus just what are they doing here like this right now, but this is when Beerus tells them that according to a premonition he had, a weird bird is to show up in the 7th universe that not only has, but uses its power to destroy all other universes in existence. Trunks chimes in telling him that this can't be the bird that they're looking for because Toki Toki has helped save all of the dimensions, insisting on how important this bird is. Quite the predicament the God of Universe 4 says, but Instead of coming to some sort of better compromise, 
they decided it might just be easier to destroy the Earth right now, to which they all seem to agree with. All except Beerus, who shows a slightly annoyed face at the sound of this. Pan flees with Tokitoki in order to escape with the bird's life intact, but all this does is anger the gods who somehow can't find their energy readings even though they are gods. Defying the gods of destruction is a cardinal sin that is paid for with your life as 11 of the 12 present gods all prepare Hakai attacks directly aimed at the Z fighters below. I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've seen all of the gods in action outside of the manga and I gotta say it's pretty cool. Even Champa looks to destroy the earth as he joins in on the attack, but this is when Beerus tells him to wait. As the god of the seventh universe which they're residing in right now, he'll take sole responsibility for the sins of his realm, causing the gods to recall their attacks. Beerus gets into a battle stance as we all know well and good what this means now, and so does Goku. Goku and Vegeta rise into the air before Beerus as an unexpected rematch with the god of destruction nears, but this time, everyone is involved, even Trunks. Goku, already knowing good and well that this isn't a battle that he can pace his way, powers up to Super Saiyan Blue right away followed by Vegeta but even these mastered god forms still pale in comparison to the god of destruction. The last time they fought as enemies Goku recalls was the first time they met years ago but now they've all gotten so much stronger partially in thanks to him. Goku powers up to maximum causing a storm overhead as he charges in on Beerus but just like every other training session, Beerus easily dodges the oncoming attacks then appearing behind Goku and sending him to the ground with a kick to the back of the neck. Vegeta flies in to assist but is blasted away just as easily as Beerus fires an attack over his shoulder. Next is Trunks who's never faced a god of this caliber before as he brings his sword down but Beerus blocks it with a single finger even more frighteningly than Goku did when they first met. This battle seems even more hopeless than their first encounter with Beerus as this time, all of the authorities of the multiverse are here. Trunks struggles to keep his sword focused on Beerus who's still holding him off with a single finger as Goku and Vegeta resurface from those last attacks. Goku, while already probably fully aware of how bad this is looking right now, still can't help but be amazed at Beerus' strength as for one, Beerus is the one who gave him that new outlook on strength as well as new goals but if he wants to end this now, then a decision has to be made. Is now even the time for this? While this may not be the 1v1 rematch Goku probably dreamed about from the moment he met someone as powerful as Beerus, this fight, much like the last, is for the fate of this planet as well as seemingly the rest of Universe 7. The Goku from this dimension seems to be not too far off if not on par with the main timeline's Goku as Super Saiyan Blue seems to be his current standard form. Still staggeringly below the level of a true god though, both Goku and Vegeta already know that this won't be enough to take on Beerus who is currently one of the stronger gods already. Even though that this isn't canon in the slightest, Goku has always insisted on his rematch with Beerus at some point in the future but with the current situation with Moro and the friction with the god realm, that may not happen sooner, rather later. My question to you all is, at what point do you guys honestly think that Goku will be ready to take on Beerus once and for all? Currently, Goku has mastered Ultra Instinct past the point of even most immortals with the initial stage, Ultra Instinct sign looking like it's completely under his control. When Beerus first saw Goku wielding this power in the tournament, his teeth were clenched and feelings of shock, excitement and anger coursed through him. Finally, the mortal, the Super Saiyan God that he had dreamt of finally rivals him but in such a way that was thought near impossible and in such a manner that even the angels and grand priests have taken a peak interest in Goku and the rest of Universe 7. That's gonna do it for this one guys, thanks so so much for watching the video all the way until the end, as always if you made it this far, I really appreciate all the love and support lately, you guys have been amazing during all of this. I gotta reiterate this even though I know most of you already know, but Super Dragon Ball Heroes is in fact just a promotional anime for the arcade game, so take nothing you've seen in this video as canon or happening in the same timeline. While this fight involved every one of the Z Fighters, the focus on the previous encounter Goku had with Beerus when they first met was a focal point here. After forming a natural bond with not only Whis but Beerus as well, Goku is pitted against his friend over a crucial misunderstanding. 
the next episode of Super Dragon Ball Heroes is lord knows when, but down below in the comments, let me know what you thought about this short little Battle of Gods rematch between Goku and Beerus. Beerus looks as strong as ever, but unlike the last time they fought, Vegeta can actually contribute this time. If you guys want to check out even more Super Dragon Ball Heroes content, I'll be sure to leave the link to the videos that I personally watched down below in the description as always, and if you've been enjoying the Universal Conflict with Fu as well as the other Dragon Ball content we've been doing, consider leaving a like on this video as well. Before we get out of here, don't forget to have that notification bell turned on to never miss an upload, and follow me on both Twitch and Twitter to keep up with me and all anime related content, but anyways... Have a great, great day. Stay safe, guys, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.